What's up guys welcome back to Tech Phantom and if you think that the processor market was already been overcrowded by the different manufacturers then there's one more good processor which has been announced by the Google and it's the Google Tensor. Now in this video we are going to take a comparison between the Google Tensor with the all flagship processor for the Android which is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. So if you're new here then consider subscribing to our channel Tech Phantom and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update from us. Also if you're looking for any other specific smartphone processors comparison then let us know in the comment section below and also you can check it out in the playlist or the card above. So let's get started. So starting off with the launch date when the Snapdragon 888 was launched almost a year ago in December 2020 whereas the Google Tensor is launched this month in October 2021. Now moving towards the CPU architecture then both of these processor are octa core but it's not specified with the Google Tensor whereas the Snapdragon is a Cryo 680. On the CPU cores and performance with the higher cores and the efficiency then the Snapdragon 888 has one 2.84 GHz of Cortex X1 three cores of a mediocre performance of 2.42 GHz and four cores of a power efficiency cores at 1.8 GHz Cortex A55 whereas the Google Tensor has a different approach with two power consumption cores of 2.8 GHz two cores for 2.25 GHz and four cores of 1.8 GHz Cortex A55 on the processor fabrication both of these processor are based on the 5 nanometer architecture which will give you the best of the flagship performances with these processor also they will also be a better battery efficient too Now talking about the GPU then the GPU in the Snapdragon 888 is the Adreno 660 whereas the Tensor has a custom Mali G78 GPU with the 20 cores which is the higher than any other GPU in the smartphones. Now talking about the machine learning and the AI then the Snapdragon has a Hexagon 780 whereas the Google Tensor uses a custom Tensor. Now talking about the RAM support then the maximum RAM support which you get with the Snapdragon 888 is 32 GB of an LPDDR5 RAM whereas the Tensor is supported to be of right now is it available in the Pixel only so it will be available up to 16 GB of an LPDDR5 RAM. On the display support the Snapdragon again has a better edge with this at 4K at 60 FPS. and QHD plus that you also get a 144 hertz of high refresh rate HDR10 plus content support HDR10 and Dolby Vision 2 whereas the Tensor supports right now up to QHD plus at 120 hertz too and it also has a support for HDR10 and HDR10 plus content support the maximum camera resolution doesn't matter with the Tensor because of its processing image processing and not only that so the snapdragon supports up to 200 megapixel of a single camera and 64 megapixel of dual camera whereas the tensor supports up to a 50 megapixel of a zero shutter lag motion mode camera now this is the custom made for the google pixel 6 series and whereas the video compatibility is also different one with the google tensor 8K at 60 FPS which is which what you can get with the Snapdragon 888 whereas the Tensor is capable of up to 4K at 30 FPS. Now on the connectivity side the Bluetooth capacity or the Bluetooth range which you get both of these smartphone is of Bluetooth 5.2 which is the latest one and whereas for the 5G modem too then it also has a different one. While the Qualcomm uses Snapdragon X60 5G modem whereas the Tensor uses a Samsung 5G modem but whereas when it comes to the Wi-Fi then both of these processor are being powered by the Wi-Fi 6E so you won't be getting any of the behind the uh, one another another on the quick charging support also the Qualcomm Snapdragon comes with a quick charge 5 whereas the Tensor is supported right now with up to 30 watts of fast charging with the Google Pixel 6 series Now closing of these comparison with the Antutu scores these are the approximate scores and the Snapdragon 888 scores a 7 lakh 30000 whereas the Tensor gets a 6 lakh 74000 
Now talking about the Geekbench scores, there's a single core for the Geekbench for the Snapdragon 888 is for 1100 and the multi-core of 3700. Now whereas the Tensor has a single core of 1000 and multi-core of 2800. Now these scores are being based on the Pixel 6 series which is being launched and we haven't seen Google Tensor in any of the processor phones and we don't expect right now as of now will the Google Tensor will be available in the, in the market for the another phones too. Now what do you think about these Google comparison? According to me the Google Tensor in the very first generation looks very promising and with the 5 years of an extended update towards the phone will also help the Google Tensor to grow even better. We are waiting for the next generation for the Google Tensor and it will definitely be a huge bump up upgrade just like the Apple's um, M1 chip has been getting a major update from the M1 Pro and the M1 Max. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you in the very next one. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, thumbs down based on your opinion.